Hey guys, so Jacob was here. Welcome back to another of our videos where yes, me and my good friend Tex are here again to do every healer for 2022. Thanks for joining us, Tex. Yeah, always a pleasure to come in and do these with you here, was. Yeah, so funny enough, this is the third time attempting this. So we yeah. did this pre um and urban flatline, and Dale said you might want to wait a bit until the new bots come out. That gave us a bit of a hint. Uh, then we did it again, and then it just ruined it, basically. Uh, we had some problems with the uh, sound. But we're back again to finally get this video done uh, and finish off uh, all the bots. So don't forget, go and check out our Warrior class, the Air class. We've done them all, Gunners. Go and check them out, guys. There's lots more in this uh, series to come. And don't forget to hit a like on the video if you like this. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. So let's get into it. Very uh, small class of bots, healers. So pretty easy. You've self-confessed that you're not much of a healer person, but I'm sure you use healers in some aspects in the game, whether it's a leveling team or whatever. Um, but yeah, obviously I love my healers personally. Uh, I don't have my nerve and flatline. Did a bit of testing with them, but you have a better idea than me. Yeah. But let's kick it off with first aid and reflector. So these guys, uh, I used a lot pre HQ seventeen. Then they sort of fell away from the meta bit, in my opinion. I think down to wrong, maybe. Do you think? Uh yeah. I mean, depends on how you want to uh, attach a combat and and use it within what you need to use it for. Yeah, and then I think opposite FFD calls come out, and that sort of really hit him hard so have they hit him hard enough with the wrong and the fact that the ffd cores have hit him hard where would you place him now would you play some situational good not great yeah i mean look first day was really up there even for myself like way 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 back when i was using healers um i i highly rated first aid um you know i different you know offsetting with the the medibots and uh, having a less healing dps rate i was like well I thought the medibots were totally great as a trade-off value. Um, but yeah, the F FFD, that's, um, that's a big one that kind of affects A or the only healer that has such things. So um, yeah, I think he's actually taken a bit of a backseat um, to the, there's now a bit of a tiered system with the healers we can start to see. And yeah, unfortunately, first day is probably going to sit in that situational if you're just trying to decide of, which healer you want to use just because of that fact you're taking away half of his ability right like you're wanting the shielded minions um so yeah got to be super careful about the the rangers because they're massive on the uh the ffds and yeah i mean look but if you if you remove them like any other problem that people do have with build bot cores then straight away drop those medibots yeah, I think the appeal for him was the usability at the start of the battle and then it lasts throughout. You know, with Ratchet's heal bump, you use it, but in 10 seconds, it's gone. Well, this one used it throughout, but again, the FFD for me really nullified him and made him take a bit of a back seat over uh, Ratchet and Wheeljack. I think the fact I've got them two and five stars also contributed to it. I think if he had fir first star as a five star, I think I might still use him, but I'm glad personally i've got ratchet and wheeljack which i place a bit higher to be honest but yeah i kind of agree yeah you you can take we say this a lot if you can take the build but out people get stuck on it sometimes try to avoid it which i do sometimes depends on the battle depends on where it is things like that um but um yeah i agree definitely the situation i think i think a lot of people just are not used to changing the order of operations that they work within right like so all of a sudden, you know, as I said, we're used to dropping first aids, metabots straight off the pad. And, you know, before hit, they would last the entire battle. Now you might have to drop them a few times, uh, just like any type of healer. Um, you know, same with tracks where you kind of, it's that entry point to a layout where everyone wants to use a certain ability for protection. And that protection is or nullified with the range of the FFD. I mean, you know, it, so just remove it, uh, you know, switch up how you apply using first aids, many bots. And that's all it's an adaption. It's about, about trying to keep the game moving, rotating, just not stale, you know, not, I can drop the same location 
same you know spot on the map and it will work the same we, we kind of want to keep the game moving and i think it's a it's a great way to to do that as much as people hate the billbot cause especially the extreme range of both uh anti-hack and anti uh sort of shielding i think it's just good for the game to have such changing things it really spices up different batches and it makes you a better player to be able to adapt to such conditions yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Next one up, Ratchet and Hook. So for me, this is you know the staple of my walk team who has been there throughout. Uh, Wheeljack came in a bit later, but uh, my Ratchet is maxed out. Uh, what's your feeling on Ratchet? Um, I think I think I'm gonna have the same appealing um when it comes to Wheeljack, but both are. Both are on the good for me, and it's because I suppose it's your basic all-round medic and good healing, solid uh, SA, has a good SA-11, um, and, you know, the G1 core applied as well. Like, it's it's all just very, very square. It's exactly what you need if you're running a medic or multiple medics. You know, you're not trading off anything. You're not really worried about um any cause or whatnot the only thing you're going to be concerned about which affects all of them is essentially a target protocol motor uh target protocol mortar core um you know the ranges on those things are getting pretty massive these days um either through effects through titan perks um so i think you really just have to be precautionary not like if you're running a medic where are these mortars at so but as a medic overall, I think Ratchet's pretty solid good. Um, yeah, so you, you've got the five star, so he's pretty solid stat-wise. Um, and the Titan Tech Tree is pretty um, pretty generous towards medics, if, if I say so myself, or and, and warriors as well. But yeah, medics get a very good boost um, in a lot of categories. So. And you said you put Wheeljack the same and good? Uh, yeah, I mean, very similar. Obviously, you know, just um, in, in terms of overall stats, you know, these two guys are healing at the same kind of rate. So same same health, same DPS. Um, you know, the only obviously difference is we're looking of order of, of operations. When would you use these guys' SA? Obviously, say with Wheeljack, you're using it at the start to help clear or potentially at the uh, at the end. Um, to help finish off um, and Ratchet's sort of that midway like you know you obviously don't need his heal bomb straight away because um, it could be a bit of a waste so it's more like a third of the way in or middle of the way in um, yeah so depending on, on your play style like you know are you a fast player are you a slow play um, I really start to see a medic for different play styles even so but in terms of overall good or situational uh, I, I see i see wheeljack and ratchet both as the good for myself yeah i was gonna touch upon what you said around uh attack styles and i, I think that's a very good point so because i'm quite a slow player quite a slow walker then i tend to use ratchet a lot more than wheeljack but mm. what i found is in testing where you know combiners get extra health things like that that's when i'll use wheeljack a bit more to get through those uh, high hp sections and rather than get stuck up on it so if i'm going for attack then obviously i'll use wheeljack it speeds the bots up gives a bit of health boost as well if i'm defending or going a bit slow i tend to use ratchet more so i do use ratchet a bit more than wheeljack uh, more of an emergency use for the healing uh, where wheeljack's more planned in normal if that makes sense so wheeljack's not an emergency use really i'll sort of say right okay when i hit that combiner i'm going to use wheeljack even if my bots are fully healed for that speed up alone the heal helps whereas ratchet is pure i don't plan to use ratchet but for some reason my bots have took a big hit for some reason but i'm going to use ratchet there so yeah that, that's how i sort of use it too and then we've got lastly uh flatline and minerva the brand new five star bot so we have said or i've said in the past um that you know new content should always be better than older content so is this the case is this guy godly or just good? 
there's um where's the game breaking category right because um <laughs> He, too many people went mental over uh, a medic and a five-star medic off the bat production line. So, yeah, look, I, I think we, we spend a lot of time in testing, um, really, really making this something special. No medics have been released for so many years, and I think the, the community was uh, in great need of something a bit wow, and I think they definitely got this. This is, um, how, you know... A medic that's a little bit, you know, better ability um, with the tower. Like you can't target it, does massive healing. So it's it's great for preparing. Like, you know, it's it's one thing for a medic to have that constant constant heal beam. It's great, you know. Um, but his ability, throw it out ahead of incoming threats and damage, and nothing can be done about it you know you, there's no anti-healing cause yet but yeah. um <laughs> yet <laughs> but it's not just that it's the fact that this guy has inbuilt rejuvenation um at the rate of a gold max core 2.3 percent um that's just unheard of you know so if you were to equip certain cores i know that we have tested alchemists and i know that uh my poster was a uh, confirmed to be not great um but it was it's a thought about if this guy has inbuilt healing what about throwing on my cronus on him already a stripes on him you're almost making like this indestructible healer so um and that's what everyone kind of wants you know it's 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 going to set the bar pretty high for i don't know like a buff to other healers um because like Outside of, I want to say outside of Wheeljack, you would easily replace Ratchet or First Aid with this guy um, because just everything else can be out-healed or the, um, the build bots can take out, I said First Aid's many bots, but nothing's taken out Flatlines or uh, Minerva's Tower. So, And because Minerva doesn't offer any speed boost, you kind of can see a pairing of if you want to run two, I'd probably run Minerva and Wheeljack. Um, but in terms of just overall, how does this bot compare? It's godly, no doubt. Yeah, I, I kind of agree, which makes me wonder, what was the anti-healing cause? That's what sort of makes me think that, that they have gone over the top with this. It's crazily good. I mean, but then again, new content, I've said, should always be better than older content. And two of these bots have been since the game's concept, you know, conception those years ago. So if we've not had a healer for five or six years, then maybe it's warranted that these healers be this much better. And maybe we can have more healers like this, you know, to that sort of standard and set a new bar for healers and make people want to level these new bots. And for me, that should always be the case. This new content should always be better than older content for players like me and you that have these bots maxed out. You think, you know what? I'm going to level this because I'm getting a good advantage. Sometimes we get new bots out, they give a slight advantage. And we talked about Cheetor and Resource Prowl about not being too different enough or not giving too much advantage to warrant leveling it from 165. I yeah. think we need content to be this good, this sort of step up from previous content, especially content that's been around for that long. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, especially especially if the hardness scale is going to, you know, creep up as it should through the, the HQ levels or, you know, whatever they d decide to, to go down when it comes to uh, upgrading defense or buildings and whatnot. Um, yeah, it just, it either makes you wonder, go, oh, what's going to come in if they're upgrading medics? And it's like, well... It could also be nothing, and it's just that's new content. New content should always be better. We've always pushed for that. Um, whether we get it is another big hurdle that we sometimes have absolute no say in, even if we have, you know, all the testers agreeing. It's just not up to us. At the end of the day, it's just feedback, and, yeah, I think they they let us really run hard with the, this healer, and uh, I think, you know, the sales definitely supported what we got from the leaderboard from it and yeah there, there's really not much to say after if you were a part of that leaderboard you just understand 
what a decent bot can bring to this game always, regardless if it's a healer class or whatever it is. I agree. Well, there we go. Every healer in the game rated for 2022 as of now. We never know. Could be more this year. We can cover them later on. But, uh, yeah, what do you think, guys? Do you agree with us? Again, as always, put in the comments. Let us know. Maybe First Aid is your bot of choice and you think he is godly. Let us know in the comments, guys, as always. But uh, thanks to Tex, nice and short and sweet. Getting this yeah. class uh, out of the way, the final one, out of the uh, all the bots rated now. And then we can move on to some uh, other things as well. Yeah, look, let's get it done. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining me again. And peace out, guys. If you like this content, don't forget to hit the like button below, guys, before you leave. And if you want to see more content, you can hit the subscribe button below to never miss another stream or never miss another video. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.